Hello, I'm Dominic Yanchunas from Professional Mariner Magazine and ProfessionalMariner.com. Ever wonder how shipbuilders decide which hull designs will work the best in water? They build scale models and test them out in an experimental tank. We're here at Webb Institute today in Glen Cove, New York. This is the home of the Robinson Model Basin. Let's go inside and see how they do it. Joining me right now is Professor Rick Royce. Rick is the director of this facility and also a professor of naval architecture. Dominic, welcome to Robinson Model Basin. It's great to be at Webb Institute. Thanks so much. I guess the starting point of all this is the, uh, the scale models. Can you show us a little bit about how they're put together? Sure. Um, on this wall over here, we have a number of, of our models. We now make our models out of rapid prototyping foam using a three-dimensional um, CNC um, uh, router. It's a, basically a model cutter. And the foam is, is, is a, strong enough that we don't need to have any additional structure added to it. And um, it's very easy to finish. A light sanding, uh, a coat of sealer such as epoxy or polyester resin, and then a nice coat of, of paint. Coming down here, running the models ourselves down this basin and actually being able to get the data from that being able to actually draw conclusions and seeing that in the real world, this stuff actually works. Seeing all of that happen is a lot, it's a, it's a great opportunity that we just wouldn't have at a lot of different places. The model basin at Webb Institute is part of the laboratory experience that the students have. There's actually a course during the senior year where they perform a series of experiments in the model tank that allows them to see how to take model, model results from the tank and expand them to full ship data. This is the way it's been historically done. And it's still done to a great extent in the industry. So this prepares them for one aspect of the industry. But in addition, it allows them these days to take those results and compare them to results they can get from computational fluid dynamics a subject that I didn't have to suffer through when I was a student, and see if they can get the theoretical side to agree with the experimental side. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and open up the lab view so that we acquire data. Hit run, or F1, yeah, to home position, enter. And I move the model to the home position, so this post has to be between those two limits. So the purpose of these tests are to evaluate the bulbous bow, mm -hmm. and um, with the bulbous bow you have to pick a speed that you want it to work at, and these vessels usually transit from, let's say, New York down to the uh, Fort Lauderdale area or down into the Caribbean okay. at about 12 to 13 knots. So we size that bulb for that particular speed. Now the idea is that the bulb's going to create its own wave the bow creates a wave, okay. and we want destructive interference of the two. So here we go. We have been testing various bulbous bow shapes on a 160-foot luxury yacht. Um, this model is 1 25th scale, so um, it's just a little over five and a half feet. Um, the things that we're interested in are both fuel efficiency, so reduction of, of, of fuel consumption, and then also uh, the performance uh, in a seaway, to trying to reduce the, the motions of the vessel. We've had two different student theses that have looked at the various shapes of the bulbs. This one's uh, much narrower versus uh, and deeper versus um, wider and flatter. This one tends to do very good in damping out pitching motions, while this one is purely, um, it, 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 it only really affects the calm water resistance of the vessel. So this one has a little bit more utility. With these particular uh, series of bulbs, um, in the tank, we've found that we're seeing uh, upwards of 18 to 19 percent um, reduction of the resistance. On a similar series of tests that we have done 
on another luxury yacht where we were seeing that level of reduction in the tank, we were actually seeing well over 20% reduction in fuel consumption. All right, this is the tri swatch SWACH, so uh, small water plane area center hall as opposed to um, twin hall. Uh, the center hall of this is actually part of the high swaths, which was a Navy design. Um, the concept here is uh, a tri moran type of vessel that has reduced motion in waves. The fact that the um, portion of the vessel that's coming up through the water plane is reduced means that it will not um, have as large emotions as a traditional monohull. Uh, part of this work, and, and this work is funded by the Office of Naval Research, part of what Webb has been involved with is looking at different um, positions of the side hulls or amas, both uh, transversely and laterally. Um, we've also been looking at different variations of, of the side halls in conjunction with uh, George Mason University. So this is a, a, a kind of variant where we have an asymmetric side hall. Uh, it's cambered. This is obviously the port hull. Um, the idea is to try and minimize the interference between this hull and the center hull. We have tested um, a flat plate with no coatings on it um, and gotten the frictional resistance as a function of, of speed or Reynolds number. And then we've taken this same flat plate, we've immersed it um, in Long Island Sound for a one week period. And during that time, it, uh, some slime started to grow on it. Uh, we came back, we tested it, saw an increase in the frictional resistance. And um, finally, we put it into the Long Island Sound for three weeks. And by that time, we were starting to get barnacles on it and so forth. And uh, we saw a tremendous increase in the resistance. We hope you enjoyed today's visit to the Robinson Model Basin. For more on naval architecture and marine engineering, check out Professional Mariner Magazine's annual American Tugboat Review this July, and in the fall, American Ship Review. For daily news updates and much more, visit professionalmariner.com. And why not join the conversation? Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. From the Webb Institute in Glen Cove, New York, I'm Dominic Yanchunas. Thanks for watching.